Hi there! This is Diecast Channel and in this video I'm going to show you this 1967 Chevrolet Biscayne made by Greenlight in the Artisan Collection. And following the series of those American police cars I've shown before, we're going to see this Biscayne today. So if you like those 60s American cars, stay with me to the end of this video. And also subscribe my channel and click the bell for news. Of course, give me your thumbs up. So let's take a better look at this car. So here we have the Chevrolet Biscayne, which is an awesome car. It's a very good looking car. It's actually a, a, the same car we have as the Impala, but with the difference that it has no trims on the side, no trims around the wheel wells, no lower trim right here. And it's rather a sedan or a coupe instead of being a hardtop, just like the Impala or even a Caprice. The coupe Biscayne usually has the same roof as a sedan, but with a pillared two-door configuration. In this car made by Greenlight on the 1 to 18 scale, we have no opening doors, no opening trunk and no opening hood. So the car is completely sealed, but it looks really very nice. It looks very attractive and its details are very realistic. The Biscayne logo, the absence of trim and the dog dish hubcaps instead of the full wheel covers distinguish this car from the Impala I've shown before. This is New York State Police as we can see. And I, I don't know whether this configuration is correct for New York police. So if you have any further information, please let me know down below in your comments. It has a spotlight, a mirror, and the windshield wipers as separate pieces. The front is exactly the same we have in the Impala. Same grille, same Chevrolet logo, but the Impala we have Impala SS and the skein we have just Chevrolet. The headlights are exactly the same. Trim around there is exactly the same. The directional lights are the same. Bumper is basically the same. Just have some more trim and some more luxury items in the Impala and especially the Caprice. Spotlight, which is very common for police cars. And windshield wipers, as I've shown before. Very nice looking grill with a Chevrolet logo and a very realistic headlights and directional lights. 396 engine badge and wheels and tires. Look very nice. The interior with door panels, which are simpler for a Biscayne. Dashboard and a three spoke steering wheel. Dashboard, gauges, steering wheel, the steering column, gear lever. They all look very nice and very accurate. And the pedals, as we can see, the gas and brake and the parking brake. So it's an automatic transmission. Seat belts on the bench seat. It's all made in black. There's no headliner in this car. The rear of this car looks very nice. And here we can see the greatest difference between the Biscayne and the Impala. The Chevrolet logo is about the same. The Impala has a trim right here in this position, but the real Biscayne actually doesn't have this line here. Uh, this is a whole piece, just like the Impala, uh, with the difference that the Impala has a trim that goes all the way here. The tail lights are different from the Impala because the Impala has three divisions. Instead of having just the tail light in the reverse, having this Biscayne. Dual exhaust and the bumper that looks very good. Chevrolet logo that's made in photo etched, just like the one in the Impala. Deck lid has its markings, although it doesn't open. Glass has a very good transparency, and we can see the dashboard. Very nice feature of this sedan made by Greenlight is the B pillar is cast in metal just with the rest of the body of a car. So it's not a hard top with a mocked up B pillar made and the windows and the transparency, just like we could expect. Looking at the base of the car, we can see that the chassis is really simple. It's uh, rather a simulation. It's not like a model car or best of show, for instance, in which we have a flat piece of black plastic. We have a slight simulation of an engine and a tranny, of the mufflers, suspensions, axles, and 
chassis itself, but it's really very simple. I think this car deserves a better chassis than this one. Wheels and tires are still very well made. Ranking this car from 0 to 10, I would give it a 9. I just wouldn't, wouldn't give it a 10 because it could have a better base, really, a better made base, instead of just a very poor simulation of what happens underneath the car. But the casting really is it's very attractive, very nice, and details are very realistic. Tail lights, front headlights, grill, wheels and tires, interior, they're all made with a lot of quality. And Greenlight has done a very good job in this car. The, what would be desirable to have in a car like this would be uh, four opening doors, opening hood, and opening trunk with a very, and a very detailed engine. That would be the most desirable configuration to have in a Chevrolet Biscayne or in an Impala. So I'd like to thank you for all likes and views. I'd like to thank you for all subscriptions. Please don't forget to subscribe to give me a thumbs up. Let me know down in your comments what you think about the video and about the car. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.